from the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Carrie Sharp with a check of your headlines. 3,067 confirmed cases in Tennessee of the coronavirus and 37 people dead. The state health department expects those numbers to rise in the coming weeks. As of now, Davidson County has the most confirmed cases in Tennessee. Metro reported 808 Friday morning. Kentucky has 831 and sadly had a large jump in its death count today. 17 in the last two days for a total of 37. Following yesterday's statewide stay at home order, Governor Lee and his team continue efforts to slow the spread and help those hardest hit. He says Tennessee is ahead of the curve when it comes to testing and PPEs, but is expected to fall behind in hospital capacity by about 7,000 beds. The Music City Center in Nashville, Knoxville Expo and Chattanooga Convention Centers will plan to become makeshift facilities. 340 health care workers set to set to be furloughed in Murray County. The Murray Regional Health Center CEO says it's lost 35% of its revenue due to the cancellations of non-essential surgeries. Staff members treating patients with coronavirus will continue to work full time. It plans to call back employees after this outbreak is over. A debate since this outbreak began. Should you be wearing a mask? The CDC now recommends you cover your nose and mouth when out in public. It asks you to use fabric coverings like a scarf or a bandana and not hospital grade masks, which should be reserved for health care workers. Officials say it helps protect others from you. Let's get a check of the forecast now from meteorologist Bree Smith. Mild tonight, temperatures falling down right around 50, so that's one of the mildest mornings we've had so far this week, and it'll be even warmer tomorrow afternoon. It'll also be cloudier, though, and with those clouds come a chance for a few raindrops here and there, but we're not looking at any big soaking rain, not by a long shot, at least not this weekend. About a 10% chance for rain Saturday, 20% on Sunday. We'll add in a chance for a few rumbles of thunder by Monday.